to everyone to come to this uh, Hack Stories meetup. And uh, I am uh, the Rina Chen, the Hack Stories PFC chair, and also um, from the ValueDB. Uh, as just uh, uh, Shirley said, the ValueDB is a uh, provide the, the commercial products powered by the Apache Stories. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, so, so I know uh, many of you may may heard uh, Doris, but uh, I know uh, some of you may have not used uh, Doris yet. So uh, today is my talk. Uh, we will have uh, three parts. The first is the uh, what is Apache Doris is. Uh, I will uh, expand its architecture and the main feature of the Apache Doris, and uh, then I will use two real user stories uh, to help you better understanding what Doris can boost in the data analysis. And finally, I will talk about the Apache Doris com uh, open source community. Uh, okay, let's get started. Uh, the first is the, what is the Apache Doris? Uh, in one line, it's a modern data warehouse offering uh, a lightning fast analysis on large scale real time data. Uh, here is the, uh, a, a diagram from our official website. You can see where the Doris can fit in a, a big data platform. Uh, so you can see the, the upstream, the upstream system including the, the uh, relational database, uh, the data stream like Kafka and Pasa, and the, the data on the data lake or the uh, structured or semi-structured data. And uh, Doris can access the data in two ways. Uh, one way is to uh, import the data from the upstream into a Doris by using the, the data pipeline or data process, uh, uh, data process uh, project like uh, Spark or Flink, and then you can query and measure data like uh, Doris internal uh, 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 table. And the second way is to access this upstream data by using the connector framework. Um, so you can save time on the data import and the conversion, uh, especially for the uh, data lake of query, uh, of query acceleration. Uh, so finally, Doris can provide the, the query service to the end user, uh, like the real-time analysis, uh, the ad hoc analysis, the data, data lake uh, query, and the ETL data processing. So that is the, uh, where Doris fits in the big data platform. Uh, so uh, I will give you a quick introduction about the Doris architecture. So first, the Doris has two main features, the, the, the front end or, or FE for short, and the, the back end or BE for short. Uh, the FE is mainly for the metadata management, the cluster management, the query planning, and, uh, uh, and the can access the, 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 the user's request. And it's written in Java. And uh, uh, BE is uh, responsible for the, uh, uh, the computing and the data storage, and it's written in uh, C++. And uh, from the Doris version 3, we have two architectures. One is the uh, uh, compute storage coupled and uh, decoupled. Uh, for the coupled storage, the data is stored on the local disk of the BE node. And you can see it's a, a typical uh, MPP architecture. And it's very uh, simplicity. And uh, for the decoupled architecture, we introduced uh, the shared storage, like the, the cloud object storage or the HDFS and uh, a unified meta service, so that will make the BE node and IP node stateless, so you can get a better elasticity. So user can choose uh, between these two architectures uh, uh, for the simplicity or the elasticity needs. Okay, uh, then I will talk about the, the main feature of the Apache Doris. Uh, the first is lightning fast. Doris is one of the world's fastest single query engine. Then I will show some benchmark for you to uh, to show the query performance of the Doris. And uh, another is uh, easy to use. Uh, Doris is very friendly for the first time user and with a very uh, low operational cost as a distributed system and uh, a flexible deployment operation uh, for various environments. And uh, the last is the multi scenario support. Uh, besides, for the, the typical reporting and the ad hoc query scenario, uh, Doris also supports the, the semi structure data analysis and uh, also can be act like a lake house query engine. So first, let's talk about the query performance. Uh, I, will sh uh, I will use some benchmark to show the, show the performance. The first is the ClickBench. Uh, it is a benchmark released by the ClickHouse company, and uh, it can reflect the query performance on a single wide table. And you can see Doris is the fastest uh, 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 database uh, on, the, on, the benchmark, uh, on, the, on the list, uh, only slower than the in-memory database like, uh, like Ampera or the tuned uh, ClickHouse. So the next benchmark is uh, a standard TPCH benchmark, and we compare to another popular uh, MPP database, uh, GreenBlum. You can see that uh, Doris can uh, uh, can uh, uh, do the uh, can faster than the GreenBlum uh, about uh, GreenBlum about uh, five or ten times, 
And the, the second benchmark is TPCDS benchmark. And uh, we compare to another popular uh, SQL engine Trino or, or, or Presto, or Presto SQL as well as formal. Uh, and uh, both stories and uh, Trino uh, are borrowing the data uh, saved in the hive. So you can see in this benchmark, Doris is uh, 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 three to five times faster than Trino. So you can see uh, for both the, the single query table or the, the complex the multi, uh, join, uh, multi table join queries, Doris also can give a better uh, performance than other alternatives. Uh, so, uh, so Doris, this performance uh, uh, comes from many technologies such as the, the code based optimizer, the full uh, vectorized query engine, the adaptive uh, uh, pipeline execution engine, and uh, 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 a lot of index, uh, smart caching, and material view, and so on. So uh, for a short of time, uh, I will not dive into the technical details today. And uh, what I would like to say is that uh, Doris' uh, uh, impressive performance comes from many uh, uh, engineering work behind the scenes. OK, the next is easy to use. The first, uh, I will say that uh, uh, Doris has a built-in MySQL protocol layer uh, uh, in Doris, so you can use any standard MySQL uh, tools like uh, MySQL command line tools and uh, any libraries from the program uh, from from, uh, from any program language to connect to Doris. And uh, as a uh, relational database, uh, most of the operation can be done by standard SQL like uh, create database, create table, uh, insert into, and select. Uh, so you can see it's very friendly for the first time users. They just uh, use Doris like using MySQL. So another is uh, deploy everywhere. You can deploy Doris on the bare metal, on AWS EC2, or Kubernetes environment, or you can find the commercial products uh, as a BIOC or SaaS. Uh, so, uh, so next step is uh, 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 easy to operation and maintenance. Uh, you know, as a uh, distributed system, we always facing uh, some like a, a node failure, a disk broken, uh, but Doris can handle this situation automatically, uh, uh, such as uh, to uh, repair the, the data replica uh, when the disk is broken, or do the auto rebalancing when uh, we do the uh, scaling in or scaling out. And uh, Doris also uh, supports the adaptive uh, concurrency control and uh, fault tolerance, so, so you, you don't need to worry about to manage uh, uh, manage a uh, distributed system uh, with a very high cost. Uh, another is uh, the uh, multi tenants and the resource isolation. Uh, the AMAP, the, the purpose of Doris is to run different, uh, to help users to run different uh, task load uh, within a same cluster. So by using the resource group, the workload group, user can very easy to, uh, to, to manage, uh, to, to do the resource isolation within, uh, uh, within a node or, uh, or between the node. And uh, uh, Doris also provide a feature uh, uh, we named the uh, query fuse. Uh, it can uh, uh, it, it can cancel the query when the, uh, uh, it can help user to cancel the unreasonable query. For example, uh, uh, maybe some user to execute an unreasonable query to the cluster, and uh, it will cost uh, too much uh, cluster resource like uh, the, the CPU resource or I/O bandwidth. And uh, the Doris can out uh, can detect this situation and automatically cancel this query to avoid this query to cost uh, uh, to take too much uh, cluster resources and to help to increase the cluster stability. Uh, okay, the last is the multi scenario support. Uh, the uh, the Doris aims to support uh, uh, different uh, uh, scenarios uh, in one product. So. Uh, especially for the company that they don't have many people to operate too many systems. Uh, so uh, first is a typical OLAP, uh, OLAP database uh, uh, analysis. Uh, we call the reporting or the uh, ad hoc queries. Uh, the reporting uh, scenario uh, refers to a reporting task uh, that uh, the, the query pattern is a relative consistent. So we can use the pre-aggregation data model or we call roll up to end the, the query catch to accelerate our uh, query. Uh, like I showed on this uh, slide, there is a base table has uh, uh, three columns, the name, the department, and the salary. And uh, we can uh, create a, uh, we call the row up table uh, based on this base table. And uh, we select a, a dimension column like uh, department and uh, metrics like a summary of the salary. And the Doris will automatically, uh, automatically aggregate the data and uh, materialize in the row up uh, table. Uh, 
Uh, so when user try to query this table like uh, select department, some salary uh, from this table group by the department, and uh, the Doris can uh, get a table direct, uh, get the data directly from the, the raw table uh, to avoid the, the computing at the runtime. Uh, so next is the ad hoc query. The ad hoc query also involve a large volume of uh, data, and uh, uh, Doris can also uh, leverage is uh, a massive uh, parallel processing architecture and uh, the ad uh, adaptive uh, pipeline execution engine to uh, offer a high throughput uh, uh, ad hoc query service. Uh, so the next scenario is a uh, high concurrency point query and uh, semi-structured data analysis. The point query uh, refers to a, a small amount of data need to be retrieved precisely from a massive data set like uh, 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 here is the uh, here is the example to select uh, all columns from the, the billing table where the user ID equals to one two three. Uh, so you can uh, so so Doris optimize this uh, this scenario by using the, the row storage, the prepared statement, and the source of current query, query plan. And thanks to this optimization, uh, you can see Doris can uh, can provide tens of thousand QPS in a single node uh, to to help user to. Uh, to do a better performance in this high concurrency point query scenario. So another is uh, the, the semi-structured data analysis. Uh, that is uh, where uh, another area where Doris is good at, like uh, the log management. Uh, Doris supports the, the inverted index, the, the full index search, and uh, the flexible uh, data type like uh, uh, a flexible semi-structured data type like uh, JSON and uh, variety. So you can see, compared to the elastic search, uh, Doris can give a better performance on the uh, the write performance, the query performance, and also has a very low storage cost. So the next scenario is uh, a lake house engine. So, uh, so first, uh, like I, uh, like I, I showed before, uh, as a query engine, Doris has a uh, 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 has a performance faster than Trino about uh, three or five times. And uh, on the on the Hive table, uh, besides uh, besides Hive, Doris also support other. Uh, uh, popular lake formation like uh, Iceberg and Hoodie, and also, uh, also in version 3 we have a, uh, a Trino connector compatibility, so you can uh, use the Trino connector to connect other data source like uh, BigQuery, the Kudu, the Redis, or uh, Kafka. And uh, also, uh, uh, as a, a query engine, uh, the, uh, user can uh, utilize the Doris uh, capability like uh, uh, maturated view or the uh, transparent query writing to get a better query performance further. So, so next, uh, Doris can also uh, can uh, write the data to uh, a user can use Doris to write data to the Hive or Iceberg directly. So, uh, so along with the, the drop scheduler capability of Doris, a uh, user can use Doris to simplify its uh, data pipeline and uh, uh, to use Doris as a data processing engine. Uh, like you can uh, process the data in the Doris and then write the results uh, back to the upstream or downstream system like uh, Hive and Iceberg. Uh, so so uh, the, the next is uh, uh, beyond the support for the external data source like we said, the Hive, Iceberg, and Hoodie, the Doris internal storage format can also act like a, uh, a, a, lake, for, a lake formation. So. Uh, uh, Doris storage support the uh, multi-version concurrency control, the data insertion, deletion, and updates, and we also provide a open storage API. So can use uh, you can use other uh, computing system like uh, Spark or the, the Python program language to access the uh, the Doris internal uh, internal data uh, very easily. So so I think a user can also use uh, Doris internal storage as a uh, uh, open link format uh, uh, alternative uh, for the better performance. Oh, okay, uh, I've just uh, briefly introduced uh, the Doris in terms of the, the query performance, the ease of use, and the multi scenario support. Uh, then I will use two real user cases to uh, help you better understand Doris. Okay, the first uh, the first user story is from K1. It's a leading short video app provider in China. And uh, in their previous architecture, you can see this picture. Uh, they use Clickhouse and the Hive and Hoodie to, to build their uh, big data platform. And uh, uh, you can see because uh, the Clickhouse can, uh, cannot query the, the Hive data directly, so they have to copy the ADS level data uh, to the Clickhouse uh, 
and then uh, use Clayhouse uh, just as a query engine to provide the, the query service. And after replacing the Clayhouse with Stories, you can see they can build a Lakehouse engine uh, because Stories can, uh, first, uh, the Stories can uh, directly access the, the Hive and Hoodie data as a query engine, so you don't need to uh, copy, the data, uh, copy the data to Doris again. And then uh, they use the Doris uh, material, uh, materialized build capability and uh, the caching, uh, the, the, the data caching features to uh, get a better uh, query performance. So by upgrading the architecture, they not only to simplify their uh, data uh, pipeline, but uh, also uh, but also get a better performance. Okay, the, the next story is uh, from Tencent Music. It, uh, it is a leading online uh, music provider in China. And uh, you can see their, uh, in their pre previous architecture, they used both the Doris and uh, Elasticsearch. Uh, they use Doris to do the OLAP data analysis and they use the Elasticsearch to do the user content information storage and the re uh, retrieval. Uh, so after the Doris support the full text search, uh, they replace the Elax search with Doris, uh, so that they can unify the the OLAP data and the uh, and the uh, OLAP data analysis and uh, the user content retrieval service. Uh, so so you can see they not only to go, uh, re, 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 reduce the, the storage, uh, uh, reduce the storage by eighty percent from uh, the, the the 700 gigabytes to 200 gigabytes. And uh, they also increase, uh, they improve their data freshness by reducing the data import time from 10 hours to three hours. So that is, uh, uh, so that is their new architecture. Uh, okay, I just uh, give you uh, two uh, very simple uh, user cases. And these user cases can be found in the uh, blog uh, on our uh, Doris official website. Uh, so finally, I will talk about the App uh, Doris community. So Abidoris is one of the world's uh, most active, I think, the most active open source uh, community in big data area. So you can see we have a cumulative uh, 650 uh, contributors and uh, uh, more than 100 uh, monthly active contributors. So you can see we compare to other uh, popular uh, open source community like Spark, Flink, or Iceberg. Uh, Doris is uh, a vibrant and uh, rapidly evolving open source project. So. Uh, Doris is also trusted over uh, 5,000 enterprises worldwide for the online analytics. Uh, and they use the industrial like retail, the finance, the internet, the gaming, and uh, telecommunications. So we uh, warmly welcome you to join the Doris community. And here are some, uh, some ways to connect us uh, for the, 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 the email, the, the Slack, and the, uh, welcome to follow us on the uh, LinkedIn, the Twitter, and the YouTube.